So I have watched a ton of these videos where people talk about their first month monetized or how long it took them to get monetized or how much YouTube is paying them right now. And I've always thought it would be so cool to be able to make one of those videos because that would mean that you are monetized on YouTube. And guess what? I am now monetized on YouTube. It's been a long and a difficult road to get to this point. So I'm really excited to be making this video and to really digging into the numbers and the analytics and everything I did to get here because I don't think my story is like most of those other videos that are on YouTube about people who have got monetized. I say that because the, at least in the ones I've watched, so many of them were people who started new channels. They had one or two videos pop off and go viral. Those videos, would get a ton of subscribers and a ton of watch time and they could get monetized relatively quickly. I did see one video where it took somebody 726 days, which seems insane that it would take that long to get a channel monetized, or you would think, dun, dun, dun. except for me, it took 2,451 days. <laughs> It took forever. And I'm gonna get into why it took so long and what the whole journey was like. But first, let me tell you a little bit who I am if you're new to this channel. My name is Tyler. I am a father of four, a husband, a school teacher, a DIYer, and I created this channel, Creator Side Income. I truly believe that anyone who is teachable and willing to work hard should be able to live an extraordinary life. Over the years, and now over a decade, I've created over 2,000 videos. Now, now those are spread across channels, but I've been at this for a long time and obviously I've do, done a lot of things wrong or I would have been monetized way sooner. So I've created a bunch of different channels, but the one I'm going to talk about today is called Reviews of Cool Stuff. And this is a channel that I actually started seven years ago. And I started it because I was unemployed and I was looking for things to give to my children for Christmas. And somebody gave me the idea of doing product reviews. So I reached out and I started working with companies and they would send me things for free and I would take a video review of them, post it to YouTube and on other social media and then I was allowed to keep those things. For a few years, I mostly posted to Instagram and to Twitter, but I would post a few videos to YouTube here and there. And so for my first several years of the channel, I had sporadic posts of product reviews and they were really bad. <laughs> Okay, today I'll be reviewing the Cozia um, double lens ski goggles um, and it comes with but that was my first video and it got me started and so I'm super grateful that I got started down this road as a product reviewer the cool thing is after I'd done it for a little while people started paying me to do product reviews so while I haven't been monetized directly from YouTube Adsense I have actually been making money from the channel for this entire time for the seven years and in fact I've made thousands of dollars I had hoped initially that I'd be able to monetize the YouTube channel with a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. That's what's been required at least for the last several years. And I thought I would get to that point. Now of all the YouTube channels that you could monetize, mine was not the best fit. <laughs> because when you think about what gets views and what gets uh, people to subscribe, we're thinking entertainment, travel, food, even educational channels that are tutorials, those are all great. My channel was taking a single product across lots of different categories and simply showing why it was a good product so that you might purchase it. Now, to subscribe to that, it just doesn't make sense for most people because you don't need random reviews on a bunch of different things. All right, so if we look at the lifetime of the channel up until the first day I was monetized, you see almost 400,000 views, but again, in the first five years, there were only a few thousand and then it started scaling up. For watch time, 10,000 hours, but again, that was spread over several years, and then I got 4,000 hours in the last year, or I guess really just since January, so in the last seven or eight months. Subscribers, uh, 1,100, and again, a three or 400 up until January, and then from January till now, almost 1,000. So here you see for the 30 day period, my first month on the, in the partner program, it started on August 21st, 2023. And the views actually 
were coming down a little bit because I'd posted a bunch of videos so I could get monetized. So they were coming down a little bit, but I was right around 2,000, 1,500, and then it kind of was pretty consistent through my first month, right around between 1,000 and 1,500 views a day, dipped below a few times, but you know that 1,200 views range, pretty consistent. Now, it shows here that I, I uploaded a few videos. It was more consistent than that, and I don't know why it doesn't show that up, but over that month, I probably posted 50 videos, but I, I post them in batches, which didn't impact traffic at all um, because these are evergreen videos that people are searching for. They're not things that people are waiting for. And so my subscribers don't view them very much. Um, it's just whoever's looking for that product. So 40,000 views in my first month. If we look at the watch time, you know, it took me seven years to get the 4,000 hours I needed, or I had 10,000 hours, but the last year to get the 4,000. But then you see, in my first month, I almost had 1,000 hours of watch time. So again, pretty consistent watch time. Um, it didn't grow as much during the month as I would have liked because I was adding videos, but part of that's just, it wasn't a shopping season. So the back to school shopping had gone down. So my views and my watch time are gonna go down. Um, I was surprised to see that with just product review videos over my first month, I got another 133 subscribers. Uh, that was a little bit surprising to me, but great. Um, if that keeps up, I can pull another subscribers in the next year, which would be really awesome. Now, the part that you really want to know about is how much money did we make? And here you see, we started at zero. The first day on the partner program, I made $1.95, which was actually more than I was expecting. I had done some searches and I knew CPM is like how much per thousand that people are paying for your channel. And I thought for my space, it might be in the some, from five to $10 range, which means the RPM, which is how much I get paid for that would be half of that. And so I thought conservatively two to $5 per thousand videos. And, and I really thought it would be on the low end of that. And so I was averaging about a thousand views a day. So I thought two to three dollars a day. And sure enough, that first day, a dollar ninety five. But then you see it kept going up a little bit, two fifty five, three fifty four. And then it's in that three fifty to four fifty range pretty consistently throughout the month. So the RPM was a little higher than I expected, but it was right around. $3.75, $4. And because I was making about a thousand views or getting a thousand views a day, it makes sense that I was getting about three to four dollars a day. Now it did start going up a little bit. Um, and I did have a peak. So the, my best day of the of the first 30 days was September 19th, and I made $7.50 in one day. And I don't know why uh, there was not if we look back to our views during that time there wasn't a spike during that time if we look at our watch hours there wasn't a spike during that time either so I don't know why we had a spike in earnings but I will not complain now my earnings were almost a hundred percent from long-form video while I did have some YouTube shorts I think I made like 13 cents that first month so that was not a big part of the equation I don't have any super chats or anything like that. Thanks or I don't memberships. I, I might monetize some of those things at some point, but probably not. I, I'm just going to stick with the AdSense. So after one month on the YouTube partner program, my result was $120.72, which was so much better than I was expecting. I was hoping for $50. And I thought realistically, $50 a month extra on top of the money I'm, I'm bringing through the Amazon Associates program from my YouTube videos clicking over to Amazon, which was about $50 to $100 a month. So I thought I can make $50 to $100 a month in AdSense, $50 to $100 a month with Amazon Associates. That's a, a nice hundred to two hundred dollars, possibly, um, and consistently over a year, I'm looking at an extra thousand dollars on top of what I'm getting paid to review the products, on top of the Amazon Influencer Program. 
I'm pretty happy about that. And so I was pretty stoked that I made $120. Uh, that might not be life changing for most people, but for a school teacher, that's a good chunk of change. So what are some of the big takeaways from my journey to get monetized on YouTube and some of the things that you can learn? I think first you can see that anyone can get monetized on the YouTube partner program. It might take being really consistent over a really long period of time, but hopefully it's not going to take you 2,451 <laughs> days or 1,100 videos. I'm guessing you can do it a lot faster than that. But if you view that as a worst case scenario, there are things you can do to get monetized a lot faster. Obviously, I saw the biggest difference once I started posting more videos, but simply doing a lot of good, high quality videos, that's gonna get you your subscribers. And if you're solving problems for people, you're gonna get the watch time. I, I did experiments with different kinds of thumbnails and different kinds of titles, and I didn't see that it made a huge difference in my case, but it probably will for you. So, so mastering titles and thumbnails, work on that. But the take home message here, guys, is if you work hard, if you learn, if you get marginally better, you know, that 1% better for every video, you're going to get there eventually. Now, I've created this new channel, which I hope will monetize a lot faster than that last one. And you can actually help me with that. If videos like this are helpful for you and you'd like to see more of them, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Get notifications. Say thanks by liking and sharing. Say thanks by commenting. You know, as people comment on videos, that's going to help the algorithm so that this video can go out to more people and make a bigger difference. Speaking of thanks, I wanted to say thank you. I became a school teacher because I truly want to help people live their best lives. And I became a YouTuber for the exact same reason. I want to help you live your best life. And of course, you're supporting me in that mission by watching this video. So I am genuinely grateful. Thank you. And I can't wait to get you the next video.